Hi guys, so in this video I want to show you the fastest and probably the smartest way that you can bulk edit products in Shopify, right? So if you have a store with hundreds or thousands of products um, and you need a quick way to rename all those products or maybe to update prices, um, this video is going to show you the best way to do that. So first I'll just quickly explain there's a couple of native built-in Shopify ways that you can uh, edit products in bulk, but they're not really good when you have hundreds of products. It's it's still really time consuming or, or a thousand or more products, right? So um, the first way is actually just using the bulk editor, right? So when you go into products um, and then you check the checkbox at the very top um, and then you click edit products, it's going to open the Shopify bulk editor, right? Um, so this isn't that convenient because actually Hang on, I, I just did this wrong. Um, but actually, it still only lets you edit uh, 50 per page. So firstly, don't click edit products, click select all 50 plus products in your store, right? Um, so that's all 50 plus products in your store selected. So apparently I've selected 1096 products. That's how many products are in this store. Then I click edit products. And so it opens them up, but it opens them up with only 50 per page. And it's going to take a long time and I can see, you know, I don't want, you, you want to clear out all of this. Um, you know, you have to wait for it to update all the time. I add the field that like, I want to edit, I don't want, I want to edit the title. So, you know, here's the titles and then I have to edit all these titles and then click next page to edit the next 50, right? And I'll have to do that, what, 20 times uh, to edit a thousand products. Um, and, and, you know, that's besides the fact that I want to somehow automate renaming of these products, right? I don't, I don't want to change each one manually. Um, so that's not very practical, you know. Another way that we can do it is using the native Shopify export import, right? So again, you go into products and you go export. And what it gives you is a huge uh, CSV file uh, that you can open up in Excel or Google Sheets, and it's got all your product data. So this is what it looks like, right? So you can see that this is the product handle, the title, the the entire uh, product description, uh, the vendor, you know, and uh, and of course the the images. And each variant is on a separate line as well. So uh, this first line has all the product info, and then for each variant you have just the the part that's different. So for example, the size. And this is just hard to work with, you know, like what if I just want to change the product titles and I don't want to, um, I don't even want to see every variant, you know, I don't want to mess with the product images. And, and the other problem is when you export and when you re-import in Shopify using this method, um, you're overwriting all your products when you re-import. It's like, it just, it feels kind of risky. You know, you, you don't really want to do that every time. You know, why can't I just export just the title and then re-import just the title and not touch anything else, right? Uh, so the smartest way to go about this is to use an app called Matrixify, okay? And I'm not selling this app, it's just that, you know, it's the only thing that lets me do my job effectively. Um, I just I just don't know how else you would do it without uh, using this app. So Matrixify, or it used to be called Excelify, right? It's on the Shopify app store. It costs $20 a month. Um, and you know, if you would rather spend several hours, uh, you know, bulk renaming, or just, uh, renaming your products manually rather than pay $20, um, for an app, you know, and you can just subscribe for one month. Um, $20 is definitely worth, uh, saving hours of my time. You know, now I'm going to demonstrate on an actual live Shopify store, how you can, uh, bulk rename your products. So, because this is what I have to do. Um, so on this store. We have, uh, we have the brand name showing up above the product title. And so uh, we don't need the brand name inside the product title. So I've already done this work before doing this tutorial, obviously, so uh, it's not showing up. But previously we had Fendi logo knitted top inside the title here. Um, so we had to remove that from all the product titles on 1096 products, right? So firstly, let's go into Matrixify here. So just install the app and this is what you'll see. 
uh, you'll see that you can do a new export, right? And you can, you, you can do an import. That's what this app does. Um, what's so good about it? It's the fact that when you export, you can export any part of the product information that you want, right? So that's very powerful. So where I was showing you the, the native uh, Shopify export and it's got all this stuff we don't need and we don't want to change, um, with uh, Matrixify, we can export just the stuff we want to change. So as you can see here, this is something that I've already exported and we just have the product ID, the title and the vendor, right? It's beautiful. Uh, it's, it, it's organized, it's easy to work with, right? And I can do some automated operations inside Google Sheets using this, okay? So whereas, I mean, this would have been hard to do something with because there's no like good patterns or anything. This, this is super easy to work with. Okay, I'm gonna show you how. So the first thing you wanna do is export, right? You're gonna go new export. Um, and here's where you choose the columns that you wanna export. So you can export all the product data or you can export, you know, just a couple of columns as I did. So simple is gonna be check basic columns and like 20 columns. You don't want that. Just go to advanced and just remove everything except for ID, title and vendor. At least that's what I did because I'm renaming, uh, like I said, I'm renaming the products. Um, so, and this is what we get after we export. Um, you know, you don't need to change any of this stuff. Just click export. This is what you get. Uh, the only thing you really need is the ID because that's 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 the ID of the product that it's going to match on when you re-import. Right? Um, so as you can see, we have products with the title, right? With the uh, sorry, the brand. We have the product title with the brand in it, right? Dolce and Gabbana here, Tutu du Monde, and we have it here, Tutu du Monde. And we want to get rid of all of this, and we don't want to change each one. Right. So luckily we already have this list here and I'm going to show you how we can really easily get rid of everything in this list from this list, if that makes sense. So Tutu Demand is here. We're going to remove Tutu Demand from here. Okay. So we're going to create another column and we're going to say, okay, let's get this first one. We're going to use uh, an Excel formula or a Google Sheets formula called substitute, right? So you type substitute, right? You can click here. And how does this work if you're not familiar with formulas in Google Sheets or Excel? Um, in between these brackets, uh, you just, you add some data. So firstly, the first thing is what we want to search, right? And, and sometimes it gives you a little, a little hint. Okay, so text to search. So we want to search, we want to search B, uh, B2, right? So we go B2, okay? And then it's text to search for. So we want to, so inside this, we want to search for the text to to do monde, right? So uh, we go C2, because that's the cell uh, with that text. And then because it's substitute, the third value that it takes is what you want to replace it with, right? And in this case, in our case, we want to replace it with nothing. Right, so all we do is put some empty quotes. So like there's nothing in it, just like that. And that's it. That's our formula. So now let's click off it. And as you can see, it even gets a little preview there, but as you can see, Tutu du Monde has been substituted uh, with nothing, right? So, and we want to do this for our thousand plus products, okay? And so all we do is we control C to copy, then highlight the whole thing and then paste, right? And it will adapt that formula to every row. So see here it's B7, C7, okay, for the seventh row. And as you can see, we've just removed all of these vendors from all of these products. We still have some issues. So for example, because this is case sensitive, it didn't pick up Stella McCartney here with the small c, right? So yeah, we also have the same problem with Kenzo because it's Kenzo Kids here, whereas in the title, it's just Kenzo. So we just need to clean that up a bit. Um, we're not gonna do that manually either. Uh, we're gonna go edit and we're gonna go find and replace. And then we're gonna find 
everywhere that it says Kenzo, right? Uh, this sheet. And you can test it with find. It'll highlight something with Kenzo, as you can see. And you're just going to hit replace all. And it replaced 31 instances of Kenzo with, again, replace with nothing. And we're just going to go through and clean up the rest like that. Stella McCartney and everything else. So I hope you can see how powerful that is to, to export and to be able to edit things in Google Sheets or Excel. Um, you know, you can do a lot of things here. Uh, you can obviously work with prices um, very effectively. Like for example, if you wanted to increase all prices by 10% or, or decrease all prices by 10% for a sale, uh, you can easily do that with Excel formulas. You know, you can just say uh, this column multiply by 1.1 and that will create a list of prices that are plus 10%, right? Um, so yeah, the last thing we need to do is re-import. So we're just gonna grab this entire column um, actually from here, we're just going to copy, right? And then we're going to go back into here, highlight the entire thing. And we're going to go paste special paste values only because that's that column is actually a formula, right? Uh, so we only want the values from there. So we're going to paste values and that's it. And then we can actually just delete, uh, both of these columns because we don't need them for the re-import. Whoops messed something up, but not important. Uh, and this is it. This is what we need to re-import. Uh, so all you would do is uh, file, download, or save it as a CSV file or as an Excel file. It actually doesn't matter. It can be an XLSX file uh, if you're using Excel. And then you go in here, you go add file, um, upload that file. And it's going to ask you a few things like you can do a dry run at first, right? So you can ch tick that checkbox and do a dry run and it'll let you know if there's any errors in that import, right? But it won't actually change anything. Um, you don't really need to change anything else. Um, it will give you a file to download with the results. And so I'm looking at an import that I've already done now. And, and as you can see, it says download import results. And uh, it's also a CSV file and it'll just say, you know, for each thing, it'll be like successful or merged or pushed or something like that. Um, you know, and, and you can just see if there's any errors in it after doing the dry run. And then if there's no errors, then you can just say import again. Uh, there will be, a, there will be a button import again, there you go. Um, and that's it. And it'll go through and for a thousand products, I think it took 13 minutes uh, to update on this store. Um, and yeah, and that's it. And we saved hours of our time, uh, that we would have spent if we, if we had manually edited those products or we, we saved ourselves a lot of stress if we had, uh, used this spreadsheet because, you know, you can see from what I did that, uh, this wouldn't be as easy to work with. Right. Um, so yeah, guys, I, guys, I hope that helped. Um, if you have any other questions about how to do certain things in Shopify, uh, please leave a comment below and I'll try to make a video for you and yeah, good luck.